What is the time taken by Mr. X? It is 26 hours and by Mr. Y 24 hours and Mr. Z 20 hours. 500 plus half of 250 is how much? 125. So 125 plus 500 you will get 625. So 625 is the earning of Mr. Z under wholesale plan. What is the total earning of Mr. A? 270 divided by time taken is 16 hours. 16 rupees 88 paisa per hour. Hello everyone, I am Arun Kumar, lecturer in Department of Commerce and Management with the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Dear students, welcome to this new session on unit number 3, session 2 on the topic employee cost. Yes, dear students, in the last class we discussed about what is the meaning of employee cost, what is timekeeping, what is time booking and methods of timekeeping and also we discussed about methods of time booking. So in this class we will be solving few problems with respect to computation of employee cost under two types of plans which are those that is Rowan plan and wholesale plan. So to compute the employee cost or to compute the wages we are following mainly two plans that is wholesale plan and Rowan plan. So here we have the first problem. So what the problem says the problem goes like this from the following information calculate the earnings and earning per hour under wholesale and Rowan plan. Yes, we are supposed to find out the total earnings, the total earnings and earning per hour under wholesale and Rowan plan. So what are the informations given? Yes, name of the worker. Yes, name of the workers is given and time taken is given. So what is the time taken is given. So we have three workers, Mr. X, Mr. Y, Mr. Z. Okay. What is the time taken by Mr. X? It is 26 hours and by Mr. Y 24 hours and Mr. Z 20 hours. Right. And next standard time allowed for the job 30 hours. Standard time allowed for the job is 30 hours and hourly rate is 25 rupees. So by using this information we are supposed to find out the total earning of Mr. X, Y and Z. And also we are supposed to find out the hourly earning of Mr. X, Y, Z. So it's very simple. You need not to worry anything. If you know four things, if you know four things, easily you can solve the problem. Need not to worry at all. So which are those four things? The first thing is TT. So what is this TT? TT is nothing but time taken. Time taken means, yes, here. Actually we allotted 30 hours. We allotted 30 hours to complete the work but what is the time taken by Mr. X? It is 26 hours. How much? 26 hours. So this is called time taken. So the actual time taken by the worker to complete the work is called time taken. Next is standard time that is ST. So what is the standard time here? Standard time is nothing but the time fixed by the employer to complete a particular work. The time fixed by the employer to complete a particular work is called standard time. So here what is the standard time? 30 hours. Okay. Next thing you have to know is time saved. So time saved we call it as TS time saved. So what is the time saved here? Time saved is nothing but he is going to complete the work before the time which is given by the employer. For example here you can see standard time is how much? It is 30 hours. So they had given us 30 hours to complete the work. Mr. X completed the work in 26 hours only. Right. In 26 hours itself he completed the work. So here time saved. So given time is 30 hours. He completed the work in 26 hours. So now 4 hours you will get. This 4 hours is called time saved. And next one is hourly rate. That is HR. Hourly rate. So what is this HR? hourly rate, hourly rate that is the wages or the labor what they are giving per hour that is called hourly rate. So what is the hourly rate here? It is 25 rupees, 25 rupees. So what is the time taken for example by Mr. X? It is 26 hours and what is the standard time? 30 hours. Okay. Time taken by Mr. X is 26 hours, standard time is 30 hours. 
and time saved by Mr. X is how much? Yes, 4 hours and hourly rate is 25 hours. So if we know these four things, easily we can solve the problem. So now let us move on to solve the problem. Halsey plan. Okay, so first we solve under Halsey plan. Okay, under Halsey plan, what is the formula? The formula is very simple. TT into HR. TT into HR. What is TT? TT is nothing but time taken. TT is nothing but time taken into HR. That is hourly rate plus of TS into HR. Half of TS into HR. What is TS? Time saved. TS is nothing but time saved. HR again, hourly rate. So now we find out for Mr. X. So Mr. X time taken is how much? Yes, it is given in the problem. 26 hours. So hourly rate is how much? 25 rupees per hour. It is given in the problem, right? Plus half of time saved. What is the time saved by Mr. X? Yes, here we have the working notes. You can find out it. Standard time is how much? 30 hours. What is the time taken by Mr. X? Yes, it is 26 hours. So 4 hours is time saved by Mr. X. So time saved is 4 hours into HR. That is hourly rate 25. So if you multiply 26 with 25, you will get 650 plus half of 100. Half of 100 is how much? Yes. Half of 100 is 50. So 650 plus 50, 700. That's it. Under Halsey plan, Mr. X is earning 700 rupees. Next, Mr. Y, same formula. TT into HR plus half of TS into HR. So here, time taken is 24 hours by Mr. Y and hourly rate is 25 plus half of time saved into hourly rate. So time saved by Mr. Y is how much? So standard time is 30 hours. He completed the work in 24 hours. So time saved is how much? 6 hours. Yes, 6 hours into 25 rupees per hour. So 600 plus half of 150. So half of 150 is how much? 75, right? So 600 plus 75, how much he will be earning? He is earning 675 rupees. Okay, finished. Next, Mr. Z, time taken. Time taken is how much by Mr. Z? It is given in the problem. It is 20 hours. So time taken is 20 hours. Here, 20 hours into 25 rupees per hour. It is common for all three employees. 25 rupees per hour. Plus half of 10 into 25. What is the 10? 10 is time saved. So standard time is 30 hours. But you taken only 20 hours to complete the work. Okay, standard time is 30 hours. To complete the work, you have taken 20 hours. So he saved 10 hours. That is time saved. So time saved 10 hours into 25 per hour. So 500, if you multiply 20 with 25, you'll get 500. 500 plus half of 250 is how much? 125. So 125 plus 500, you will get 625. So 625 is the earning of Mr. Z under Halsey plan. So now we will find out hourly earning okay we find out earnings per hour so it's very easy the formula is total earnings divided by time taken so what is the total earnings of mr x yes mr x is earning 700 mr y is earning 675 and mr z is earning 625 so now total earning of mr x is 700 divided by time taken what is the time taken by him 26 hours obviously so now is hourly earning so his earning per hour is how much 27.92 per hour so mr x is earning 27.92 rupees per hour next mr y 675 is total earning divided by time taken is how much 24 hours so you will get 28.13 how much 28.13 per hour next mr z is total earning is 625 we already computed divided by time taken is how much 20 hours to complete the work so his earning is 31.25 per hour 31.25 per hour so this is how you are supposed to compute the hourly rate and the total earning under Halsey plan so now move on to the row one plan. 
Under row 1 plan, all the informations are same. Time taken, time saved, hourly rate, standard time, everything is same. But formula is different. So what is that formula? Formula is time taken into hourly rate. Time taken into hourly rate plus time saved divided by standard time into time taken into hourly rate. Time taken into hourly rate. So if you apply the formula now, time taken by Mr. X is 26 hours, hourly rate is 25 rupees plus time saved by Mr. X is 4 hours divided by standard time is how much? 30 hours. So into time taken is how much? 26 hours into 25 rupees per hour. So 26 into 25, 650 plus time saved is 4 hours divided by standard time of 30 and 26 into 25, 650. So here 650 plus 86.67. So 4 divided by 30 into 650, you will get 86.67. So now the total earning of Mr. X is 736.67 under row 1 plan. Next Mr. Y. So time taken is 24 hours, 25 rupees is per hour. Time saved is 6 hours divided by standard time of 30 hours. And now time taken 24 hours into 25 rupees per hour. If you do it, if you calculate it, 24 into 25, 600 plus 6 divided by 30, 24 into 25, 600. So 600 plus 120, 6 divided by 30 into 600, you will get 120. So 120 plus 600, 720 rupees is the earnings of Mr. Y under row 1 plan. Next Mr. Z, time taken is 20 yards and hourly rate is 25 plus time saved is how much? 10 hours. Time saved is 10 hours divided by standard time of 30 hours, 20 into 25. So 500, 20 into 25, 500 plus 10 divided by 30 into 500. So 10 by 30 into 500, you will get 166.67 plus 500. Total comes to 666.67. So now we find out earning per hour under row 1 plan. So what is the formula? Formula is same. Total earnings divided by time taken. So total earnings of Mr. X is 736.67 rupees. So time taken is 26 hours. Hourly rate is 28.33. Next Mr. Y. Total earnings is 720 divided by time taken of 24 hours. You will get 30 rupees per hour. Next Mr. Z. 666.67 is total earnings divided by time taken 20 hours. So is per hour earning is 33.33. So this is how we are supposed to solve the problem. So mainly you have to know four things. So what is the time taken by the employee? What is the standard time given by the employer? What is the time saved? And what is the hourly rate? So if you know these four things, easily we can solve the problem without any confusions. And the most important thing is, you should have to buy out the formula. Formula with respect to also plan and with respect to row 1 plan. Yes, next we'll move on to the next problem. Problem number 2. Calculate the total earnings and rate earned per hour of 3 workmen under the ALSE and row 1 plans. So standard time is 20 hours. Hourly rate is how much? 15 rupees per hour is the wages. And time taken by Mr. A. Time taken by Mr. A is 16 hours. By Mr. B is 10 hours. And by C is, yes, 8 hours. So here standard time is given. What is the standard time? 20 hours. So what is the time taken by Mr. A? It is 16 hours. So 20 hours is the given time. Here I have taken 16 hours. So what is the balance? 4 hours. This is called time saved by Mr. A. Next Mr. B, 10 hours. But what is the standard time? 20 hours. So you saved how much? 10 hours. Yes, it is called time saved. Mr. C, you have taken 8 hours. But what is the standard time? 20 hours. So how much time is saved? He saved 12 hours of time, right? So this is how you are supposed to find out. And hourly rate, obviously it is given 15 rupees per hour and the standard time is 20 hours. So let us solve under all set plan, okay? Time taken into hourly rate plus half of time saved into hourly rate. That is the formula. Mr. A have taken 16 hours of time 
and per hour rate is 15 rupees plus half of 4 hours that is time saved 4 hours into 15 rupees per hour. So 16 into 15, 240 plus half of 60 rupees. So how much you will get 240 plus 30 that is 270 is the earnings of Mr. A. Mr. B, 10 hours is the time taken, hourly rate is 15 rupees plus half of time saved is 10 hours and 15 rupees per hour. So 15 into 1, 10, 10 you will get 150 rupees plus half of 150 rupees here, 75. So 150 plus 75, 225 is the earnings of Mr. B. Next Mr. C, 8 into 15, time taken is 8 hours into 15 rupees per hour plus half of time saved 12 hours into 15 rupees per hour. So 8 into 15, 120 plus half of 180. So 180 plus 120 plus 90, 120 plus 90, 210 earnings of Mr. C. So now we will solve the problem under row 1 plan. So under row 1 plan, what is the formula? The formula is total earnings equals time taken into hourly rates plus time saved divided by standard time into time taken into hourly rates. Okay. So Mr. A, time taken is 16 hours and hourly rate 15 plus time saved is 4 hours divided by standard time of 20 into time taken is 16 hours into hourly rate 15. So 16 into 15, 240 plus 4 by 20 into 240. So you will get 240 plus 48, 240 plus 48, you will get 288 rupees. Next Mr. B, 10 hours is the time taken. So 10 into 15 plus time saved is 10 hours. So 10 divided by 20 into 10 hours time taken into 15 rupees per hour. So 10 into 15, 150 plus 6 by 30, you will get 150 rupees. So 150 plus 72, you will get 225. Next Mr. C. So Mr. C, 8 as the time taken and hourly rate is 15. Okay. So 12 divided by 20, 8 into 15. So 120 plus 12 divided by 20 into 120. So 120 plus 72, you will get 192 rupees. Okay. Now we will solve the per hour earnings. We will find out per hour earnings. So under both the plans, under row 1 plan as well as under all say plan, the formula is same. That is total earnings divided by time taken. So under all say plan, what is the total earning of Mr. A? 270 divided by time taken is 16 hours. 16 rupees 88 paisa per hour. Next Mr. B, 225 is earning and time taken is 10 hours. So his per hour earning is 22.5. Next Mr. C, 210 is his earnings divided by 8 hours. So 210 divided by 8, you will get 26.25 rupees per hour. That is the earning of Mr. C under wholesale plan. Under row 1 plan, Mr. A is earning how much? You can see here, he is earning 288 rupees. So his earning is 288 rupees and he had taken 16 hours of time. So 18 rupees per hour is his earning per hour. Mr. B, what is the Mr. B total earning? Mr. B total earning is yes. It's 225 divided by time taken 10 hours. So he is earning 22.50 per hour. Mr. C, so what is the Mr. C's earning? Mr. C is earning 192 rupees. He is earning 192 rupees. So divided by time taken is 8 hours. So he will get 24 rupees per hour. So this is how you are supposed to find out the answer under wholesale plan as well as under row 1 plan. So here four things you have to you know, keep in mind that is time taken, time saved, standard time and hourly rate. So I hope all of you understood the topic. So with this, I'm going to wind up this session. I'll meet you in the upcoming session. Until then, thank you all. Have a nice day. Namaste.